All right, when it comes to cleaning homes and facilities, it's important to protect after you disinfect. Our local Maid Brigade explains. Maid Brigade is a franchise. There's actually about 80 or 90 of us throughout the United States. There's only one here in the Valley now. That's us. We do commercial cleaning, but we also we focus on residential. We do uh, disinfection is included in all of our services now at no additional cost, which is a big deal. Um, commercial service is more buffing floors and cleaning, you know, two or three, th I'm sorry, 20, 30,000 square foot facilities like schools. Um, we don't do things like that, but we do disinfect and protect commercial facilities. Here, there's probably maybe 14, 15, 20 employees going in and out. The difference between home and business is you don't know where those 14, 15, 15 20 employees have been. That's kind of where we roll in and we say, you're potentially multiplying your um, exposure by, by the hundreds, if not the thousands, when you have 20, 30 employees coming and going because you don't know what they're doing outside of the facility. So what we offer with disinfection and protection is a big step above just cleaning your facility. The biggest step is protection because we can come in here and we can disinfect this facility till we're blue in the face. And that's great, it's disinfected. As soon as we leave, I can test it, I can show you. But guess what, as soon as it's touched again, it's reinfected. That's where, and we have a lot of people say, hey, how long does it last? This, it doesn't last. No disinfectant lasts beyond the disinfection time. So what the bioprotection does is it protects this product for up to 90 days. The best way to describe it is it is literally millions of microscopic barbs that create an electrostatic field that basically zap the, the little pathogens that might fall on it or are touched. So if we were to, to disinfect this and disinfect this, like I said, it's fine. But as soon as we sit down again, it's reinfected. If we protect it, then it's protected. Still, you can't just protect. You can't just have somebody come out and, and be protected for 90 days and not take care of the facility. Again, it's like, it's like an electrical field. If it, that electrical field gets dirty, it, it can't be properly disinfecting. It can't be properly protecting. So this is called an ATP meter. Anything on this below a 30 is a pass. Anything above this is a fail. So what we're gonna do with this is basically, it's basically just a Q-tip, and we're gonna swab where people would be sitting. We're gonna get a 15 second countdown to see where this measures. All right, so we're gonna spray the area that we just swabbed. So we're gonna do the same areas again. So you see it's at a five, so that's almost perfect. We're gonna re-swab it and see and hopefully cross our fingers. Look at that. That's actually better than I thought. Honestly, it usually comes out in single digits. It went from 99 to zero, which means there's literally not any bacteria on that surface at all. For more information, visit madebrigade.com. And remember, their special offer, receive a free 90-day protective barrier with regular service. Las Vegas Now, we'll be right back.